and welcome to another cooking video here with me on Good Eating. For those of you who don't know, I'm Malin and today I'd like to share with you a late summer vegan barbecue and I'm gonna make four dishes and the first one being a sort of side dish that's not going on the grill. So let's start get started with that. It's a green pea pesto potato salad. So yeah, let's get started. To make the green potato salad, you will need some curly kale, some lemon juice, some boiled or steamed potatoes, edamame beans, some spring onion, the green pea pesto which you can find on my blog, and some chives. To start off, we'll finely chop the kale and then we'll pop it into a mixing bowl along with some lemon juice. And then it's important to give it a good massage. So for roughly five to 10 minutes, I massage the kale. And then I chop up my boiled potatoes into cubes. And I add those into the mixing bowl along with the kale. And then I'll chop up my spring onion And I'll add most of that into the mixture as well, along with the edamame beans. Then I will plop in my green pea pesto. Again, you can find all the measurements for that on my blog. And then I will mix it all together. When it's all mixed, I'll go ahead and chop my chives and I'll sprinkle that on top. And there you have it, a green potato salad. And next up is the barbecue cauliflower steak. For this recipe, you will need some smoked paprika, some cumin, some onion powder, as well as garlic powder, some Tabasco, some Dijon mustard, some brown rice syrup, some tomato paste, and finally cauliflower, and a little bit of lemon juice, as well as salt and pepper. So first of all, you just mix all the ingredients together except for the cauliflower itself. And then I'll go ahead and chop my cauliflower in half, and then I remove the sides of the cauliflower, making one flat steak. Then I move on to coating that steak with the barbecue sauce. And you could use a brush for this, but I'm just using a spoon. And then we'll go ahead and oil the grill a little bit to make sure nothing sticks. And then I'll place my cauliflower steaks on the grill for about five to 10 minutes on each side. Now, if you're using a really big cauliflower, you might want to grill it without the barbecue sauce for about five to 10 minutes, and then add the barbecue sauce and place it on the grill. I'm serving my cauliflower steaks on a bed of lettuce, but hey, whatever floats your boat. Let's move on to the third dish, which is buttered corn on the cob. And for this, you will need some corn cobs, some natural string, some herb and garlic butter, which you can find on my blog. And to do this, you just place the corn on the cob on the grill with the husk for about 15 minutes. You have to flip them throughout. And then I peel the husk off. Once the husk is peeled off, I tie it up with a string to expose the corn kernels and then I return it to the grill to char it a bit. Now this is to your liking. And once it's charred, I serve it up with the herb garlic butter and again, all the measurements for this is on my blog. The last dish in this video is a charred iceberg lettuce with a creamy cashew dressing. And for this dish, you will need a head of iceberg lettuce, some garlic powder, some salt and pepper, and the creamy cashew dressing, which again, you can find the recipe for on my blog. So to start off, we'll just chop 
the iceberg lettuce into quarters. And then we go ahead and put the garlic powder all over the wedges, as well as the salt and pepper. And then I place it on the grill for about two minutes on each side until it's charred. Again, this is to your liking, so as much or as little as you like. And then I just remove it from the grill and I drizzle my creamy cashew dressing, which has thyme and oregano, making this really delicious. And then I sprinkle some fresh oregano on top as well as a garnish. And there you have it, four simple whole food recipes for a great late summer vegan barbecue. I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.